Hopefully everybody can see me and hear me. I'm going to just wait a minute to let people hop on. Gather everything you need, a yoga mat block. Um, we are going to start off with meditation. So if you practice with essential oils, grab your favorite oil, um, a bolster or pillow to sit on and come to a seated position on your mat. And I have been reading this amazing book by uh, Bob Thurman. Um, if you yogis in the community know him, he is such an amazing, inspirational human being in person. Um, I was introduced to him through my yoga teacher training. Um, my teacher, Michelle, um, is very close with him, has studied with him, taught us a lot of her um, findings through him. And I just started reading a bunch of books by him. And I found this one at a local shop here in Portland. It's called Inner Revolution, Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Real Happiness, um, forwarded by His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. This book has been so awakening and I've taken so many things away from it. So earlier today, I was outside soaking up the sun and I was reading the book and I wanted to share just a little paragraph out of there that really resonated with me. The chapter, is called um, searching for the self, which we all need to do more. Every single person on the planet needs to kind of search for their inner revolution and happiness. Um, and it starts with searching for yourself. Um, and I wanted to share just again, take away with this what you would like before we start our meditation, but to take responsibility for facing our living conditions, we must look at who we are and how we see the world. Every day we wake up in the morning and we are hit by the biggest intuitive lie known to human consciousness. That lie goes like this. It's me. It's me. I'm it. I'm the center of the universe. I come first. I hold it all together. The bottom line is me. It is not just that we are selfish. It is deeper. We perceive that self as the one sure thing, the only thing that we can count on. I am sure of my own ideas, my own dictates. I know without question what I want, what I hate, what I fear. I think, therefore, I am. Again, that just resonated with me because nobody really sits down to think about their true self. We're so conditioned at just, especially for me and my own personal experiences, just the life that I've been handed and living and taught. And it hasn't just been till the past few years that I started to dig a little bit deeper um, about my spiritual side, who I really am as a person. And again, we are not our bodies. Um, and it's really a fascinating thing once you start to open up your mind and live in this kind of higher consciousness, you crave education and understanding every single day. Um, again, this book, I'm not even halfway through it and I have been able to learn so much. I would love to sit down and share um, and have like a little review over this book once I'm done. But again, it's just an amazing book and I wanted to share that with you to challenge you to sit down and really dig deep into who you are as a person and removing your identities. We are not our name. We are not our job. We are not any of that. We don't have identities. At the end of the day, when we pass on to the next realm and the next life, we leave our bodies and everything around us behind. Um, again, that's nothing to be sad about. It's something to kind of be excited about and understand that, um, everything must die and kind of come to full circle. So again, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, that book, you can find it probably at your local bookstore, um, follow Bob Thurman. He is an amazing educator and teacher. Um, and also it's just such a beautiful day because it's a new moon 
And if you're in Oregon, the sun is out and shining and everybody is just in such a good, beautiful mood and I love it. And it's Friday, so let's flow it out and let's move our bodies. Um, so again, I'm going to be meditating with frankincense. It is my favorite oil. Um, it is such a precious, beautiful, sacred oil. So many amazing benefits of this. And I pretty much meditate with this or balance every single day. Frankincense has been used for hundreds of years in spiritual practices to help connect you to the higher power and your higher self. Um, it's great for head tension. It's great for grounding yourself, calming your nerves. It's also great for your immune system. Um, so definitely try practicing with frankincense. So let's meditate before we move our bodies. We won't be here for too long, but if you're using your oils, go ahead and drop some in your hands. Get to a comfortable seat or a position. Begin to close down your eyes. Bringing your hands in front of your nose, inhaling the aromas. become still. Focus on your breathing. Letting everything go, all of your thoughts go. Letting the day go, which you still may have to do. Leave it at the door and give yourself this hour. Let's take a couple deep breaths together. So when you're ready, bring your nose up over your, sorry, your hands up over your nose. Take a deep inhale in. Hold at the top and release, exhale. Connecting more to the earth beneath you with each exhale. Deep inhale in. Pulling your lower belly. You are sitting up straight and your crown is lifted. Exhale, release. One more deep inhale in. Hold at the top. Exhale, release. Surrendering. Taking in the energy of the new moon. It's a time of purification and cleansing. It's time for new opportunities, new beginnings and new things in your life. You can repeat your mantra to yourself, repeat your word of affirmation, repeat your intentions to yourself. This is the perfect day to do that, and the perfect time in meditation. Focus on your breathing. Always come back to your breathing whenever your mind starts to wander. Observing the noises and sounds around you, not letting them distract you. Taking everything in. You're feeling grounded, connected to the earth and everyone around you. 
connected to yourself, to your true self. Digging deeper to who you really are in your identity. Couple more moments here. Beautiful. When you're ready, you can bring your hands down to your lap if it's not already there. Just begin to wiggle your hands and your toes and softly open up your eyes. And take in the energy around you and how you feel. If you need a moment to journal and get things off your mind, please do so. Um, I'm always a huge fan of writing things down and being able to visualize it. So we are going to get started with our flow. It is going to be very refreshing and restorative. Nothing too crazy, but it is Friday and I'm sure everybody has had a crazy busy week. Let's get that energy out and get ready for a relaxing, calming weekend. So if you were on a prop, go ahead and remove it, move the pillows to the side. You just wanna to come to a cross-legged position on the floor. If this is not comfortable for you, you can be in a kneeling position, but I'm going to stay here. And we're going to just start with some simple rollouts of our wrists and our neck. Again, yoga is more demanding on your bodies than you think. And a lot of the times, if you have wrist issues, um, it is very important to kind of warm up your body and move your joints around before you apply a bunch of pressure and weight to them. So just start by moving my hands in some circles, flapping them out, shaking them, and also doing some flaps. Good job, shake out your arms, awesome. We're going to just do some neck rolls here so you can do counterclockwise or clockwise. Just take your time, move slowly, feel where you might have some knots or stiff areas. You can stay there, apply some pressure to your neck and with your opposite hand or left or right hand, just pull your neck down a tad, sorry, on your head and you can kind of look up and move into your sore spots. It's almost like a massage, it feels so good. Making a full circle with your head slowly. And then when you get to center, roll the opposite way. Beautiful, all right. So now we're just going to do some Suki rolls. Make sure that your sits bones stay connected to the earth as you start to move in a circular motion. You can have your hands on the ground if you need some more support, hands on your knees, and just begin to move at your own pace with your own breath here, closing down your eyes. Activating that Kundalini energy, feeling cleansed and refreshed. Beautiful. And then go the other direction. Awesome. Come back to neutral. Stay at a seated position. And we are going to now move into cat and cows. So come to a tabletop position. 
make sure that your knees are aligned with your hips and your wrists are right under your shoulders. You want to feel grounded and strong. Your feet are pressed into the earth and it's as if someone was going to come and tip you over. They wouldn't be able to because you're super activated. Your low belly is pulled in and you have a neutral spine here. So when you're ready, begin to exhale and curl your spine, press into the earth for cat. Inhale, blossom, open up your chest, gaze comes up for cow. And exhale, curl, push into the earth, round your shoulders, drop your neck for cat. Inhale, gaze lifts, chest lifts for cow. Begin to just move on your own breath here. You can sway from side to side, circle out your hips. Again, whatever feels best for your body. Move with your breath. So with each inhale, you are curling and rounding the apana pattern. And with each exhale, we're opening up the prana pattern. So again, we'll be here for a few moment, moments, moving at your own breath here. Good job. Couple more. Beautiful. And when you're ready, we're going to just begin to do some alternate leg and arm lifts. So begin to root all of your weight in your left knee. And when you're feeling strong, kick back your right leg, keep it flexed. So it's either pointed or flat. You don't want just a dead, dead leg. So keep your leg fully activated. Your low belly is pulled in. And when you're ready, begin to lift your left arm forward and your gaze is forward. Stay here. Have a strong focal point. This is warming up our whole bodies, our arms, our lower belly, our spine, our quads, our glutes, everything. Strong mental focus. Again, come back to your breathing. Beautiful. And when you're ready, begin to curl in, bring your elbow to your knee. Inhale, exhale, extend. Inhale, curl, exhale, extend. Inhale, curl, exhale, extend. Inhale, curl. Exhale, extend, beautiful. You can stay here if you want a little bit more. You can reach that hand back, grab your right foot, kick up, open up your chest, get a nice stretch in your lower back. Again, do what feels right. Exhale, release, and come back to neutral. Awesome. You can shake it out, move your body around. We're gonna do that on the other side. So when you're ready, begin to move all of your weight and get balanced in your right knee. Kick back your left leg, strongly activated. And when you feel ready, begin to bring up your right arm, straight forward, gazes forward. Hold here, feeling strong, good job. Deep breaths. Beautiful. And when you're ready, we're going to bring your knee to your elbow, curling in. Inhale in, exhale, extend. Inhale, curl, exhale, extend. Inhale, curl, exhale, extend. Inhale, curl, exhale, extend. One more. Inhale, curl, Exhale, extend, beautiful. If you want more, go ahead and flip that hand, catch that left foot, kick back in to your hand and bring your chest forward, gaze lifts, enjoy that stretch. Release and come back down to neutral, beautiful. 
Let's go ahead and sit back for a child's pose. You can take a traditional child's pose here where your knees and feet are together. You come back and you bring your arms back, curl your head in. If you want a little bit more, keep your toes together, bring out your knees for an extended child's pose and begin to walk your hands and drop your chest onto the mat and rest your forehead on the ground. And enjoy this beautiful restorative pose Child's pose is so beneficial to your body, to your nervous system. If you ever need a child's pose anytime throughout class, feel free to do so. That's the beauty of virtual yoga is you can kind of do whatever you want to do because your home is your studio. But one day, hopefully we will be able to practice together Couple more moments here. Beautiful. And when you're ready, come back to a tabletop position, neutral spine, your lower bum is pulled in, and we are going to step back for a plank. So if you want to hop to a plank, just be very careful. I always like to do my first plank of the day slowly. So I kick back my left knee, my right, sorry, my left leg, feel grounded and strong, pull in your lower belly, hover your right leg. And when you're ready, walk your foot back. You should feel very strong. Your hands, each finger is rooted into the earth here. Your low belly is pulled in. Your feet are very strong and activated. Everything is on here. Just breathe through this. You can do this. Beautiful. Good job. Another more moment or two here. And when you're ready, come to knees, chest, chin. Move through your chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, back to down dog. First down dog of the day for me, for many of you. So just be careful here. You can pedal out your knees. Make sure your feet are at a hips width distance and your toes are pointed forward. Again, have as much bend as you're in your knee as you need. Lift that tailbone high. Drop your head in between your shoulders and push with your hands up, feeling strong. You can rise up to your tippy toes to get a little bit more height. Again, just do what feels right as this is the first down dog. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift, exhale, curl in for rag doll. Grab your at opposite elbows, your chest is laying on your thighs. Drop your head and release. Make sure your knees are not over your toes and your feet are pointed forward. Deep breaths here. You can use your ujjayi breath or your breath with sound to let everything out and release everything you need to let go of. Inhale. Deep exhale. Good job. Inhale, begin to rise. Lift your hands and your gaze above. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. And just be here for a moment. Drop your eyes. Feel the energy. Beautiful. And when you're ready, come to the top of your mat. We are going to move through some sun salutations. So when you're ready, toes forward. Inhale, gaze lifts, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, move through your chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. 
Beautiful. Hold here for a moment. Your thighs are lifted off the ground. Your feet are activated into the earth. And your chest is open here. Beautiful. Exhale back to down dog. We'll be here for a few moments. Inhale, look forward, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, gaze lifts, exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, inhale, gaze lifts, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, step back to plank. Move through your chaturanga. Exhale, up dog. Sorry, inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, back to down dog. Really feeling your energy and your blood moving at this point. Your heart rate's picking up. You're letting go, releasing. So much energy right now, it's going to feel amazing. Inhale, look forward, exhale, hop or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, we're gonna do one more and add on from there. So inhale, gaze lifts, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Move through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Roll over your toes. Hold here for a moment. And when you're ready, feel strong and rooted in your left leg. Bring up your right leg for three-legged dog. You wanna have both of your weight evenly distributed on your hands. So shift that weight back over to the right if it shifted when you raised your leg. From here, you can open up your dog, circle out your hips, move through wild child pose, whatever you wanna call it. That was the last time my knee popped out of place. So unfortunately, that pose is off limits for me now. One more moment here, exhale. Bring that foot back down, even everything out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, stop or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful, taking the energy around you. Focus on your breathing, calm your breathing. Beautiful, and now we're gonna do it again on the other side. Awesome, so inhale, gaze lifts. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back to plank. Inhale, chaturanga, move through at your own pace. Be here for a moment and exhale, back to down dog. Feel strong, feel connected ready to move into three-legged dog. Move that weight into the right leg, kick up. Make sure your foot is activated, your whole leg is strong and engaged here. And if you'd like, just do whatever you did on the other side, on this side. Open up your hips, make sure that your shoulders are square, whatever you need to do. And exhale back down to down dog. Beautiful, inhale, look forward. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Beautiful, exhale. Hands to heart center. Good job. So I'm going to face you now. We are going to do eagle pose. Again, if your balance is off, if you're not feeling it today, you can also just do the bound arms of eagle you're going to get amazing benefits just from that. 
Everyone can benefit from Eagle as we have all been sitting down, probably on computers. You have your shoulders all tense and your muscles need some love. So when you're ready, if you wanna take a full pose with me, become centered and sound. As you can tell, my breath is a little bit racy. <laughs> I needed to move my body, so I'm glad we are here doing it together. When you're ready, begin to shift your weight into your right leg, like you're coming into a tree, but kick your right, or sorry, your left leg up and over. You can stay here, use it as a kickstand, or take the full bind where your toe is wrapped around. Again, whatever you need for your body is beautiful. So here, from now, we're going to take the arm bind. So when you're ready, go ahead and lift your right arm up, or sorry, under your left, crossing over, grasping hands, beautiful. You need a strong focal point here. Your legs are strong and activated. Your low belly is pulled in. You should feel an amazing stretch in your upper traps, opening up your shoulders, this pose is so beneficial. Feels like a little back massage. Again, you can use your foot as a kickstand or just be in standing. Modifications for everybody. Nobody is here to judge you, to push you. This is your own practice. And if you need a little bit more of a stretch, begin to bring your arms up and push out a little bit. So up and out. That will enhance the stretch in your back. And it just feels beautiful, awesome. So when you're ready, slowly begin to release that. Shake it out. We're going to move to the other side. When you're ready, begin to shift your weight into your left leg, bringing your right leg up and over. Again, you can stay here or take the full bind, bring that left arm under your right and grasp hands here. Again, strong focal point. Your wobbles are welcome. That's what my dear teacher and friend Allie always says. All wobbles welcome. Feeling strong. Beautiful. A couple more moments here. Awesome. Begin to slowly release. Lift that leg up and back down to the earth and release your arms. Shake it up. All right. And from here, we're going to take it into chair pose. Feeling a little thigh burning happening today. So when you're ready, you wanna have your feet right below your hips, not all the way touching. You want a couple inches in between your feet, feeling very strong, begin to come back to a seated position. Drop that booty down, like you're about to sit in a chair, hence the name chair pose. Pull that lower belly in, your spine is straight and strong. Your shoulders and chest are open. Begin to inhale, lift your arms up. Beautiful. Stay here for a moment. This is such a beautiful pose on a new moon. For me, as I'm sitting here, I just feel like I'm opening up to the universe, receiving my messages, sending out my intentions, receiving all of the beautiful energy. Make sure, take a peek down, make sure your knees are not over your toes. If they are, readjust. Don't want anybody to hurt themselves here. You should feel a little bit of a burn. If you don't, sink a little bit lower. Raise those arms. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one, inhale, rise, shake it out. Good job. I'm gonna turn to the other side now. And when you're ready, move back to chair. Stick the booty out like you're looking for the chair. 
Readjust your knees, take your arms back when you're ready. Inhale, lift those arms, open up your chest, lift your gaze. Good job. Focus on your breathing. Try to slow down your breath. Matching your inhales and your exhales. Pulling strong. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise. Bring your hands to heart center. Close down your eyes. Couple deep breaths. Beautiful. And when you're ready, meet me back up at the top of your mat. We're going to move through just a couple more sun salutations before we take it down to the ground. So when you're ready, inhale, gaze lifts. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale. Chaturanga, down to up dog. Hold, exhale, curl it over your toes, back to down dog. Get onto your tippy toes if you need to create some more length or space. Again, you can have a deep bend in your knee here. Just make sure it feels right and listen to your body. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed through both hands and release your neck. Let's take a lion's breath together. So deep inhale in. Exhale, stick out your tongue. Release. Deep inhale in. Stick out your tongue, release. Beautiful, inhale. Gaze lifts, transition to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Beautiful. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to transition down to our mat. My favorite way is the old 10 count down. So come up onto your tippy toes. Inhale, find a strong focal point. Flip your palms down to the earth and exhale slowly down. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful with control. Let's come to a seated position for butterfly. Make sure your sit bones are connected to the earth. Walk out your feet a couple inches in front of you. I always do about a hand's length distance in between my pelvis and my feet. Put your feet together, hold on to them, and begin to just bounce your knees up and down. Again, you can close down your eyes. Pull in that lower belly, feeling strong. Roll your shoulders back, and release any tension in your jaw. Start to slow your breathing. Thinking of anything that no longer serves you, let that shit go. It's only keeping you from reaching your highest potential, from living your best life, from having good days. It's normal and it's part of life to have bad things happen to you, bad experiences, negative days. It's going to happen. You can't go through life thinking that it's going to be peaches, roses every single day because it's not shit gets thrown at you and you just have to learn to go with the flow learn to drop into that meditative state whenever you feel yourself spiraling knowing when to create space for yourself and just living a more mindful life that's why this practice is literally the most beautiful best thing you can do 
for your mind, body, and soul. Awesome. And when you're ready, just begin to slow down that pace, stop the knees from bouncing. And we are going to take your legs out in front of you for a seated forward fold. Again, if you have knee issues, be very careful. You can use a pillow or blanket to roll up or even your mat and put under your knee. I'm going to do that. I don't have any pillows or blankets around me right now, but I have extremely bad knees. Anybody knows me. So readjust yourself, a little bit of support under there. You're ready, readjust, get onto your sit bones, inhale, gaze lifts, arms lift. Exhale, begin to stretch over. If you can't touch your toes, that is okay. You can bring your hands to your shins. Just make sure your low belly is pulled in and you're not sitting here slouched over. This is not good for your spine. This is what we don't want. This is what we want. So if you can achieve this, fully surrendered with your head onto your um, legs, do so. For me, I cannot get there. So I only take it as far as I can, okay? Again, if you have a pillow, you can put that on your lap and rest your head down. This is a beautiful restorative pose. Hold on to your toes. Feel this amazing stretch through your lower back and through the backs of your legs. Drop your head, close down your eyes. Sorry, you can probably hear my dog snoring. He's right underneath the screen because he has to be everywhere I am. So this is just the joys of virtual yoga. Beautiful. And when you're ready, begin to lift, inhale, back to neutral. Roll out your mat or remove any props that you had. We are going to take it back to Supta Baddha Konasana, like my favorite pose. Every single class I do this because it feels so amazing. So again, bring your feet back together like we just did. But we are going to recline, laying back. So again, make sure your feet are a couple inches away from your pelvis. Hold on to your knees if you need to, or with control, roll down one vertebrae at a time onto your back for Supta Baddha Konasana. It's a very restorative healing pose. Well, if you have props or come to an in-person yin class, we could get you so comfortable here that you could stay here all day. If you need some support, definitely either hold your knees or put some pillows or props under your knees. If you feel any strain here, okay? You can put your hand over your heart and your belly to feel your breathing, to feel connected. But just close down your eyes, feeling the amazing hip opening, calming your nervous system, slowing down our heartbeat, and just surrendering here for a moment before we do a couple more twists and end with Shavasana. Beautiful. And when you're ready, begin to guide your knees back to each other. Give yourself a nice big hug. So wrap your arms around your knees, curl into a little ball, and show yourself some love. And exhale, release back down. Just take out your right knee at this time. Hold on to your left leg, pull it up. You should feel a great stretch here. You can even hold from the back. You can extend your knee up or out. Again, know your limits. And when you're ready, begin to guide your left leg over to the right. It can find the earth. If your body allows that, if not, 
take it where it needs to go to feel that amazing twist and stretch in your low back. Bring out your arms and take your gaze over to the left. Twists are amazing for your digestive system. Squeeze out any toxins, purifies the body, just feels amazing on your low back anyway. Inhale back to center. Give yourself another big hug. And exhale that leg, left leg out straight, holding onto the right, bringing it in again. Give it an extra little tug and stretch. And when you're ready, begin to guide over to the left. Your gaze comes to the right. You can cactus out your arms, whenever you need to feel stable. Beautiful. Take another deep inhale here. Exhale back to neutral. One big hug. Let's take a happy baby before we prepare for Shavasana. So grab those big toes with your peace fingers. You can grab your heels, whatever you need. Feel that low back connected into the earth. Begin to open up your legs. Rock back and forth if you need to. Give yourself a little massage. It feels so amazing. But really take this time to use to use any other posture you may need. Ivan. Sorry again for the dog lines. He's very needy. This is so bad, you guys. I am sorry. Mm -hmm. Again, the joys of teaching virtually. You can take this into a plow, whatever you need. Again, this is kind of a moment or two for you to prepare for Shavasana and close out our practice. So exhale anything that you have done, release onto the earth, remove any props or blocks, pillows, whatever you may have, stretch out, come to your most comfortable posture for Shavasana. Begin to close down your eyes. Taking a total body scan here. I'm going to get my dog situated so we can actually have a pleasant Shavasana together. Again, this is Ivan. He is an old man, Doberman, and he cannot be without me at all. Like, it's a little ridiculous, so I apologize. Now at least you will be quiet. <laughs> all right, begin to focus on your breathing. Dropping into that meditative state. Focus on your third eye. Starting at the top of your head, release any tension in between your eyebrows. Unclench your jaw. Let your tongue lay in the bottom of your mouth. You can even open up your mouth. Fully relax. Drop your shoulders. Release any tension in your hand and your wrists. Open up those hips, let your legs roll out. Let it all go in Shavasana.
And when you're ready, begin to bring awareness back to your body. You can circle out your wrists, move your fingers and toes, bring your hands over your head for one final big stretch. And when you're ready, curl to either side for fetal position, keeping your eyes closed. making your way up to a seated position whenever you are ready. Again, close down your eyes, bring your hands to your heart center. And just take another moment to thank yourself for showing up today, showing up for yourself, practicing meditation and asana. Such a beautiful gift that we have. It's an amazing journey and a never ending journey. So keep digging deeper to find your true self, to let go of all of your identities and your ego. We are not that, we are not this, we are not our name, we are not our job, we are not. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I love each and every one of you. I hope this helps you cleanse and let go of all of the energy that you don't need to carry into the weekend or just carry around anymore. So namaste. You open up your eyes now, take in the energy around you. And again, I am just so thankful to be able to share and practice with you guys. Um, hopefully soon, now that the weather is getting nicer in my area, if you're local to the Portland area, I am going to try to start having some yoga classes at Gabriel Park, which is very close to my house. So again, stay tuned on that. Um, if you are not subscribed to my newsletter, highly suggest it. You can reach out to me, either text, call, over Instagram, Facebook, all of those social media platforms that can get you added to my newsletter. It's a great way to stay connected um, to me, to what I'm doing, to my schedule each month. Um, again, I'm on the Lifted Yogi. If you need some guided meditations on YouTube, free or donation-based classes. So again, Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Take care of yourself and each other and have a beautiful new moon day. Reach out with any questions or feedback. Obviously the situation here is still improving. So let me know if you have any feedback and I love you all so much.